Hello everyone, and today on the bench is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker by Sega. Um, just powered the board up, and it's doing nothing. There's no sync at all. So, that's, uh, yeah, the game's not starting up at all. I think one of these sections around here is responsible for sync. Um, let's see what we can do to get it working. Now, if we take a close look at the ROM board, we can see straight away there's a load of pins that need straightening. And three of the four capacitors on this board are knackered and need replacing so I'm going to do that first, straighten these pins up see if that makes any difference, probably won't do I'm suspecting there's an actual fault on the main board but you know this sort of thing is going to help at least I've just pulled the sound CPU Z80 out I've noticed someone's been messing with this board as they've bent one of the legs out and put it into the socket so the sound probably wouldn't have been working if the game was actually booting that's easy enough to straighten out though so I'll do that now Okay, I've opened up the protected 6800 CPU and checked the battery, and the battery is reading fine, so this should still be okay. I've swapped the CPU, the protection device, and the ROM board onto another System 18 board, and it's working fine. So we know now that the fault lies on the main board. And another thing I found on the main board is this PAL chip here has two of its legs missing. Another sign of an untrained technician trying to fix boards. So I was going to solder that into a turn pin socket and hopefully we should be able to save it. Okay, and the corner pins have now been soldered into this turn pin socket, so with any luck that's, this PAL should still be usable. Okay, and with that PAL repaired and replaced in the original motherboard, the game works a bit more than it did before. It's clearly still a bit ill. Uh, some text missing. And I can't start the game. No, nope, still further work to do. Okay, so if you put the game into test mode, you can see there's actually a memory diagnosis test. Now, it actually runs part way through and then it seems to just give up. So that indicates something's a bit more seriously wrong than just one RAM chip. Let's see how far it gets. And to finish off this repair, I've replaced the 62256 RAMs at IC3536, as well as this LS244 at IC26. Then I've reflowed the solder on these four Sega custom chips, and that seems to have done the job. And here we have the game booting up, with the missing text now present. And the animation we saw before. And the title screen is now working properly. Let's start the game. There we go, board is all working. 